CTrader Algo API allows you to draw several types of objects on the chart. One of the most used drawing objects used in indicators is the rectangle. In this video, we will develop some sample indicators to demonstrate how you can draw rectangles on CTrader charts. Let's switch to CTrader Algo and create an indicator that will draw trading sessions on the chart. We will name it Trading Sessions. We will start by making this indicator an overlay indicator. There are four major trading sessions in trading, the Sydney session, the Tokyo session, the London session, and the New York session. Then we will write the code to draw a rectangle indicating the London session on the chart. Trading sessions are a useful indicator in trading as they help the trader to know during which period specific assets are traded, hence the volatility and trading opportunities are increased. Let's build our indicator and add an instance on the chart. We can see the London session rectangle drawn on the chart. We will go back to our code and add the rest of the trading sessions. For simplicity, we will just copy and paste the code since it is similar to the London session code but for different time zones and with different colors for rectangles. Let's build again and check our trading sessions. Go back to the ALGO section and create an indicator that will plot the support and resistance zones on the chart. We will create a new indicator and name it Support Resistance Example. Again, we will start by declaring it as an overlay indicator. We will use the chart's fractals to draw our support and resistance zones. A fractal resistance zone is drawn where the high value is higher than the two adjacent bars on each side. The resistance zone is the area between the fractal candles high and close prices. Let's write the code to draw it. Resistance zones are useful to identify areas where a bullish trend might stop and reverse creating trading opportunities. Now let's draw our support zones. In contrast to resistance zones, support zones can identify areas where a bearish trend might stop and reverse, hence indicating a potential buy signal. We will build our indicator and see our support and resistance zones drawn on the chart. In this video we have demonstrated how to draw rectangles on the chart. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.